Good morning to a freezing cold morning here in Riga, Latvia. It is by far the coldest temperatures we've ever experienced. It is a nice balmy minus six degrees right now. So we're gonna do our best to try and get through the day. Today, we're gonna to be taking you around the old town here in Riga treading through the snow. It's really icy and really yeah. slippery and Christy's actually really struggling to walk <laughs> yeah. right now. For someone that's not used to walking in snowy conditions, of course I'm struggling. I feel like a baby deer <laughs> yeah. walking for the first time. You look like one too. I know, I feel like it. So yeah, we're excited to explore this city. It's something completely different for us in the snow like this. So yeah, we'll see how today ends up. We wanted snow and we got snow. <laughs> we got a lot of snow, yeah. <laughs> So I actually find it a lot easier to walk in the really thick powdered snow like this where my feet almost get buried because there's quite a lot of traction and it's kind of fluffy. It's the ice that really is difficult for, for me. I feel like I'm skating. I have been ice skating before and I was no good. Steve's like a pro in these conditions. I don't trust myself holding this camera. So as you can see, but it does definitely help when they, uh, not ice the roads, uh, salt the roads. The trucks went through before and dumped a whole heap of salt so it definitely helps and um yeah but as you can see this is sloshy <laughs> starting the morning off at St. Peter's Cathedral because this is pretty much the center of the old town with its impressive Baroque tower that you can pretty much see from any point here in the old town. And it's also a good place if you want to check out our viewing point and you don't like stairs because there's an elevator that takes you from the bottom up to the viewing point. Also, a shout out to the Strata Coffee Bar here in Riga. We came here this morning. We've had, we've been to about four different cafes so far, and this by far is the best. So if you're in Riga Old Town, definitely go to Strata Coffee Bar. But to be fair, we've been to a lot of coffee bars, and they're yep. all really good. They are all really good, but that one's the best. Another really cool thing about Riga is it's got so many different styles of architecture. St. Peter's Cathedral that we just came from had like a Gothic facade with the Baroque tower. Behind me, there was a beautiful Art Nouveau building. That's my favorite style of architecture. I don't know too much about it. It's just my favorite aesthetically, um, but you can find Renaissance buildings, Baroque, all different styles, and it all works really well and harmonious. It's very cohesive. So Christy was just saying about all the different architecture here in Riga. We've come down to the Three Brothers, which is a really good example of that. Yeah, these three historic residential buildings were built over three different centuries in completely different architecture styles. The oldest was built in the 15th century. I think it's this one here. And the name was actually ripped off from a group of three buildings in Tallinn, Estonia, called the Three Sisters. So behind me here is a beautiful building known as the House of Blackheads and it was built in the 14th century. It was used as a meeting place for various public organisations in Riga and it was one of the most prestigious and luxurious buildings back in the day. Unfortunately it was destroyed during the Second World War and it was rebuilt in 1999 to look like it did back in the day, restored to its former glory. So something I find pretty cool out the front of the House of Blackheads is this here. 
It's a monument to the very first recorded Christmas tree in Riga in I think, what, 1510? Ever, not in Riga, in the entire world. This is where they recorded the very first decorated Christmas tree. It's very inconspicuous and easy to miss if you're not looking for it. So you probably walk over it if you didn't know. We were actually looking for it and we were like, oh, maybe it's under these <laughs> piles of snow. <laughs> So Riga is such a walkable city. I think everywhere we've been this morning is confined, well has been confined to the old town and has been within a radius of one kilometre. Right now we're heading to the central market, which is one of the oldest and largest markets in all of Europe. The market is made up of five old World War I Zeppelin hangars that were dismantled in the 1920s and then brought here and rebuilt into the markets that we see today. And if you didn't know quickly, Zeppelins are the massive blimps, the big airship. As soon as you walk in, you get smacked in the face with the smell of fresh seafood, fish, vegetables and I think like the dairy section is in this specific hangar. We love coming to these markets. I got about a kilo of mandarins or clementines, two giant persimmons and a tomato from the fresh vegetables, fruit and meat section through to the clothes area and souvenirs, jewellery and then we're heading on through to the food court to grab something to eat. soup option I got a chili con carne soup and it comes in an edible bread cup how cool is that I've never actually seen that before with a little tortilla chip and some parmesan on top so I'm gonna give it a try mm. it's hot delicious it's exactly what you want on a day like today and I went for some mushroom dumplings. They're massive. I didn't think that'd be so big because we've got a bit of a dinner that we're going to later. So I don't want to fill up too much. Did you only put spicy sauce on half of them in case I wanted to try it? Yep. Oh, that's so nice. They look like curry. Are they curry? Yeah, I'm not sure. Whoop. They're falling apart. <laughs> Just got mushrooms and all different veggies inside. They look like soup dumplings. It's Jialong Bao. Jialong Bao full of mushroom. Oh, Tastes kind of similar. Really thick pastry though. I need chopsticks. The fork is just not cutting it. But they're really nice though. Oh. So there's lots of places here in the market to grab a beer, but we're not going to grab one here. We're going to head back into the old town because Christy has a pub or a craft beer pub picked out to get a drink. Braving the cold. It's actually not as cold today as it was yesterday, I don't think. Yesterday I was in, I'm wearing three pairs of pants today and about five tops. Yesterday I had an extra pair of pants on and an extra two layers of tops. So Also, that. this is where the fruit market is normally in the flower market, but because it's starting to get really cold, the fruit freezes, so they move it all inside. I just want to show you another example of the architecture here. Look at the contrast between this kind of industrial modern building and then literally right next door, you've got St. Peter's Church with the Baroque tower and the Gothic kind of inspired facade. So beautiful. This is just an example of what this city is like kind of throughout. We've got a clear pathway. I'm feeling confident walking along here. <laughs> Steve storms ahead of me but I was just saying to him before the brewery that we're going to I think I might just stick to mineral water or maybe like a coffee or something because 
walking back in the dark, not sober, I don't think is a very good idea. I don't know, we'll see how we go. All right, so I've come down to a little bar here in the old town called Two More Beers. I've went for the flight of five beers. They're five local beers. Two, these two here are actually brewed here in-house. The other three are just local beers from around the area. Oh, and here's food. And it's garlic bread also. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. That is. And we also ordered this for a bit of a snack. It's oh. called garlic bread. And our tour guide, we did a walking tour yesterday or a few days ago, and he said you have to, whoops, you have to try this. It looks like really dark, either rye bread or just super toasted bread, and mm -hmm. it's covered in garlic and salt. It also came with a dipping sauce. We'll give this a go. Or oh, Christy, do you want to try this? I can try. I really wish you guys could smell this because it smells incredible. Wow. Oh, hands down, the best garlic bread I've ever had. How good is it? Oh. Very nice. So other than the garlic sticks, another thing you must try when you're here in Riga is this stuff. It's called a black busan, busan, balsam, I think it's called. And it's a local spirit here. It sort of tastes like medicine. It's super strong. I think it's 40%. Yeah, 40, well, it says 40 mils, 45% proof. So it is very strong. We actually did try this on our walking tour. So this isn't the first time we've tried it. And spoiler alert, we hate it. <laughs> so we're gonna do a little bit now just so we can show the reaction on camera. First off, the smell. It doesn't actually smell bad. It just kind of smells like cough syrup in a nice way, but it is super black. They actually do use it as a medicine here in, well, I don't know if they still do, but back in the day, they used it as a medicine here in Latvia. All right, let's give it a taste. Is that the original? Oh my God. We did get three different ones. We got original, a cherry one, and our guides, we did a, um, guide, a walking tour and the guide said to get the black currant one. I didn't like any of them. When you first sip it, it tastes really nice. And then that alcohol hits you in the back of the throat and it's really harsh. I don't know, I'm kind, I'm kind of getting over a bit of a sickness, so I don't know if it's that, but. Well, theoretically, it should make you feel better then. Well, <laughs> true. Medicine. All right, bottoms up. <laughs> I'm just gonna to stick to the beer. Oh, my eyes are watering. Ah. Yeah, would you believe it's four o'clock? Look at this ooh, lack of daylight. And now we're gonna try and brave this surface back to the restaurant that we're having dinner at. <laughs> So walking up the stairs to get to this dining area, I'll explain where we are in a moment, but my heart is racing. I've got a lot of adrenaline right now. I was walking up the stairs, so I was about maybe 20, and I got to the third last one before I reached the top and I fell like head first. And somehow I put one arm out and I don't know how I did this, but I kept that in one hand. I still can't even do it now. I held that in one arm while I broke my fall with that. and didn't spill anything. I don't know how that happened. And everyone was just like, what just happened? And they were like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how that happened. I was super human. Uh, I heard a bit of a bang and then like everyone gasp <laughs> and then pretty much give a round of applause. I had that like minuscule second of superhuman strength then to hold myself up. And from making, I didn't spill a thing. Mm. I don't know, it was just one of those freak moments that I'm grateful that I didn't hurt myself. So we've left the bar and we've come out for dinner at this little local, I think it's a chain. What was the name of it? So this is Lido. It's a chain of like canteen style restaurants where you walk in, you grab a tray and a plate and you help yourself like a buffet style. And they serve traditional Latvian cuisine. So I have got pork and some Mediterranean vegetables with some pickled onions and beetroot. And I don't know, some dessert. I don't actually know what I've got. I'm pretty sure. Ribs. Yeah, these look like ribs. I think that's some kind of like chicken parma sort of a deal. Yeah. That sauerkraut. And I've got a pickle and like a beetroot salad Yum. there. And a mulled wine. Plus we've got a mulled wine. <laughs> Christy got a dessert. You know what? I'm going to start with my dessert because I can kind of imagine what everything here is going to taste like. But this looks, I'm going to get a fork. This looks super interesting. It's like a, 
I don't know if you can see that. It's like a, um, it kind of looks like a custard, like a solidified custard with maybe some jelly and berries and seeds. Mmm, it's kind of like a mousse with no flavor. And then this jelly substance on the bottom. That's apple, like an apple pit. That's really nice actually. Um, it's okay. <laughs> I'm gonna get stuck into this though. These ribs are so good. I'm pretty sure they're pork ribs. They're not exactly full off the bone, but they're still very tender, a little bit fatty, which is really nice. Such a good flavor, and especially with the sauerkraut, and like maybe with a, a little bit of the pickle as well, which I've got. Whoop, that looked very messy, but sauerkraut, ribs, and pickle, the perfect bite. Oh, can't recommend this place enough, and it's pretty affordable as well. Mm. I can't remember what we paid for it. It was 23 euro, mm. which is about maybe 35, 36 Australian dollars for all of this. And it's a lot of food. That was delicious. If we didn't already say, it was 23 euro, so about 35 Australian dollars for all of that food. Definitely well worth it. Lido is a great chain, canteen chain. This one was massive. I think this is one of the bigger ones here in Riga. We were sitting upstairs. It's got a really cozy home country style feel to it. So definitely come here if you're in the city. And on that note, we're going to end it there and head back to our hotel and jump in the sauna. Yes, we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.